Hold up, when did this happen? You know us, any reason for a party. There will be wine, right? So obviously, we were all in on the idea of a fete to celebrate the awesomeness that is young restless Lauren Fenmore Baldwin. We knew there would be flashbacks galore and a chance to marvel at the hairdos she and portrayer Tracy E. Bregman sported over the years. What we didn't expect was to see Fenn stroll in and casually introduce the handsome young man by his side as his boyfriend, Trey. Say, what, more, Courtney Hope speaks out on Sally's baby daddy clearly, this was not news to most of the Fisher Baldwin family. Sure, Gloria mugged a bit, but she does that when a waiter asks if she wants more champagne. What a silly question. But Michael stepped forward, shook Trey's hand and said, it's fantastic to meet you in person, at last. In reality, Trey's name might just as well have been plot point, given that he was clearly on hand for no other reason than to ask questions which would set up the various Lauren-centric flashbacks. And as storytelling devices go, it's not the worst one ever trotted out. The problem, however, is that until Finn walked in with plot point Trey, no last name needed, we hadn't a clue that Lauren and Michael's son was gay or bi. We never got to see him telling his parents or find out how they might react, because this entire development unfolded off screen. Again, say what? Somewhere along the line, Young Restless decided that it would go out of its way to avoid drama. Even when big things happen on screen, there's little to no fallout. Remember when Devin and Abby suddenly had couch and stairs and wall sex only to have their respective mates walk in on them? That's the sort of thing that should have kicked off months worth of storyline. Instead, Amanda left town, Chance got even sadder, who knew that was possible, and, that was it. Worse, some of the things we most want to see are taking place off screen. Kyle and Summer's Italian wedding? We were told about it after the fact. Mariah and Tessa meeting with potential baby mama Delphine? Off screen. Those couples therapy sessions Billy and Lily had? You guessed it, off screen. To have Finn simply pop up with a boyfriend is jarring to say the least. Not that we disapprove, far from it. But it also illustrates a bigger problem, which is how little time we spend these days with the Fisher Baldwin clan. How ironic that this issue be spotlighted during an episode designed to highlight and pay tribute to a member of that very clan. More at the moment that forever changed Lauren even more Fenn's portrayer, Zach Tinker, who also plays Sonny on Days of Our Lives, unavailable for additional episodes, the writers easily could have given us scenes of Michael and Lauren discussing the news, maybe even admitting they were struggling with the unexpected development. And we would have killed for a scene in which Summer, former object of Zen's affections, met, and maybe sized up Trey. Instead, all we got was Fenn walking in with someone who could fanboy over Lauren and, having served his purpose, will likely fade into the woodwork, never to be seen again. In case you, or Trey, need help figuring out who's who in the extended Fisher Baldwin clan, we've put together this handy-dandy photo guide to their tangled family tree.